Good evening and welcome to another episode of A Contagious Smile. I guess we really could say morning because we don't really know when people are going to be listening. Welcome to another episode of A Contagious Smile Unstoppable. I am Victoria and my soulmate, love of my life husband, Chili Willie over here is uh, joining us. So, howdy y'all. That was last week. <laughs> that was last week. Glasses. You want to use my glasses? So we've been really busy. Um, our daughter, Faith, had a very scary experience. And so we ended up in the hospital, well, urgent care hospital transferred to another hospital. We talked about that on last week's episode. And so she's doing much better. Thank you guys for your caring and concerns and well wishes. And we have been super, super busy with a lot that's going on. My husband looks quite puzzled at the moment. Um, not quite sure what he's up to. We have some amazing news going on. We're a little all over the place right now, so you got to forgive us. We have podcasting or podcasting for pause coming up here in a couple weeks. It is our annual international event that we are so excited about. And if you are a podcast host or somebody who wants to uh, get out there, reach out to us. Let us know that this is something that you're interested in, but do it quickly as spots are filling up. I have to tell you that I had such an honor today to speak with a gentleman who really and truly made my face hurt. His name was Frank King and he's coming on podcasting for a pause. He will be one of our spotlighted guests on Friday the 6th. He has such a history. Um, just to give you a little scoop about him, he was a writer for The Tonight Show for over 20 years and he has done stand-up comedy for over 30 years and he entered into the bodybuilding world after the age of 60. This guy is hysterical, but he also talks about that he has depression and he also suffers from a condition that I'll let him explain that really will open your eyes to the fact of this mindset he has about being suicidal and it really is an eye opener. It's things that I had no idea about. And just a down to earth, super nice guy. I'm super excited that we're going to have him on. And he is hilarious. <laughs> the guy looks great. At he's 66. 66. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, he's, that's not he's old, a hunk, but he lo he his wife he thinks he's a hunk. Well, <clears throat> I've got you, babe. All right, share. I, I guess that would make you Bono. Bon, no, Bono. Bono. I don't know. I'm tired. Seriously? Serially. My husband's teaching me a new language. What's it called? Redneck. Redneckified? Sure. We talked about Jeff Foxworthy today and that whole, you might be a redneck if. Well, you got to get him on. I would love to have Jeff Foxworthy come on. We had breakfast with him years and years ago and he was hilarious. Down to earth, nice guy too. My husband looks just whipped. I'm just tired, y'all. We have a lot going on. What else is going on? Uh, with us. Um, I just try to, you know, spread the word out there when I'm out working my daily job, and I meet some interesting folks, and. Uh, Today I met a fella who does um, speaking. He's a motivational speaky, speaker, um, similar to life coaching. I reckon I, I don't rightly know, but he's gonna he's gonna send me the details, and uh, I hope to uh, to see what we can network with him, Preston. That'd be nice. And we have puppy galore. We have a lot of puppies. You want to give us an update on all the little cute little paws running around? Birds. Yeah. We have um well we have we had seven left from this litter and 
Let's see, two, two are go are spoken for, three are spoken for now. So not many left out of this letter. And uh, you know, we give our girls a break, and um, you know, they produce maybe two litters a year, uh, sometimes a little bit less, but uh, we don't want to overwork the girls. But the puppies are looking good. Uh, They're they so they, cute. They play, they get their bath, they sleep, they snuggle. They snuggle your neck and bite your ear. And I thought I was the only one who could do that. Yeah. It's at nighttime. I could do it during the day if I want. Come on. <laughs> I've heard from so many of our guests that they love how we interact with each other. They love the chemistry we have with one another. That's because you're awesome. No, we, we, not me. Turn the W into an M. I mean, turn the M into, see, I'm tired. <laughs> turn the M into a W, we. They love our connection and they love the fact that there is a happily ever after, after such darkness. So, yeah. Mm. Go ahead. I've never seen you this just. I'm just. I'm just tired. Out of it, out for a show ever, 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 ever. And mom and dad are coming up this weekend. So he changes the subject. <laughs> His dad and and mom. Did you reach out to Tim? I did reach out to Tim Tebow. And I'm crossing fingers, because I don't have many, that he will join us. But I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. But I did reach out. I just don't know. I see a lot of his videos, and he's... He's spot on. passionate about what he's doing and yes. his foundation. He's amazing. So, yeah, I hope he comes on, you know, shares a little insight with our listeners around the world he would be amazing who would your dream guest person be for us to interview i don't really know yet let me let me let me give it a take a what a tink what's that a tink let me think about it what are you tinkerbell no don't say it <laughs> don't you say it so Another thing my husband has brilliantly come up with oh, is Lord. what video was that on YouTube that like got ridiculous subscription views? And so you came up with the idea of us recording you and Faith. Like it was a, something with a dog. And then all of a sudden you were like, I can't believe this person has millions and millions of subscribers or whatever. He came up and said, this is ridiculous. And so I started recording him and Faith they have such a good time with each other. They're both pranksters. They both literally, literally just go at it constantly. Like if you ever saw Grumpy Old Men, you know, hey, putts, moron. That's what these two do. And so from an outsider's point of view, it's absolutely hysterical. So I started to get little skippets. But the point is, is that I think I'm going to have to like put a warning on it because some of the words that come out of the two of you is just not child friendly. No. You're to blame too. Yes. I mean, they're a riot for the adults, but for kids, not so much. They, I don't think it's a kid friendly thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a goner. I better lay off the beer. Just about broke his chair. <laughs> I leaned back in the chair to get comfortable. Oh, good. Then you'd fall asleep while we're recording the episode. Thought about I lost my biscuits there. Thought I was gone. And our dogs don't even move. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's dead. <laughs> our dogs are freaking awesome, y'all. I know. They're just they're they're freaking awesome. You know, besides intelligent, they're 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 very much the comfort and support animal that you need coming out of a, a traumatic, um, abusive relationship, or and, special needs. And if if you're disabled or special needs or just old like me, and you want a companion just to scratch behind the ears and and love on, 
you know, they're, they're your guy. But tell them about Stucco. Stucco's, first of all, Stucco's our mascot. He's hilarious. That's my word of the day. He's the puppy mascot. And don't start. And so what Stucco does is just hilarious. That's my word of the day, obviously, because I'm overusing it. But when my husband wants to... Snuggle? We'll use that. Stucco gets in the middle and will literally take his paws and push Michael away. (laughs) And it's not a one-time thing. It's a every time thing. If we're on the couch and I, and Michael comes and sits down, Stucco will literally push him away. He knows when I'm about to come hug or kiss you. Oh yeah. And even if he comes to kiss me, like he's walking down the stairs, I'm, you know, sitting on the couch, say, Stuckle jumps in my lap and literally puts his head up against my face so that he can't kiss me. <laughs> but they're hysterical together too because he know he's just the way that they play with each other. But the Goldens, I'm I know everybody loves their dog. Everybody has their favorite. But I have grown up with Goldens. I've had other breeds, but Goldens to me are the creme de la creme. Like that's just my personal opinion. I'm not taking away from anybody else's opinion, but from a disability point of view, they are. When I came home from my amputation, Stucco was only a few months old. Like literally, only a few months old because he's only like a year and te- a year and four months now. And we were kind of concerned was how was he going to react to me coming home like this? You know, with the bandage and dressing and yada yada. And he literally was so well behaved just I attest to that he's just just a fabulous companion dog i mean just amazing and it's funny because everybody could be comfortable on the couch i could be doing dishes and then i head upstairs to the office and there comes my shadows there comes rusty and stucco just following me i don't have to say a word and they they just come over here and stay with me and it's just they're just amazing amazing and you can't i don't care who you are you have to be like the biggest narcissistic asshole to be oh, your dad. That be your father in law. <laughs> do you want to bring that up? But to have a golden come near you and not just melt and fall in love. Like, I don't know how you could be around one of these dogs and they don't put you in a good mood. They make everything better. They just do, no matter what. So, y'all go on the website and look at the photos and, and videos of Stucco and. Uh, his brood, his harem, whatever you want to call it. They're all in there. That boy's been busy. He's had quite a few pups. <clears throat> I need to get him back out there for Santa Paws. Yeah, we're doing Santa Paws. We're already on a wait list. And they are so cute because ours are all red. And they are so cute. And we need to also come up with some names. Because the mamas are all Disney. And so we need to come up with some names for some of these cute ones. They're all cute. It's so hard. I don't know how some people could just go up to their litter and pick one because that's really hard. But then again, the moment we got Stucco, I knew right then he was mine, like right then and there. And it's been amazing ever since. And some some of these survivors, you know, they have to choose to leave their, their pets behind. And, and it's real sad. And I made a lot of foster uh, foster parents, so to speak, of pets out there. Um, if y'all listen, thank you for fostering the, the pets that y'all do, uh, as opposed to take them to a kill shelter or, or whatnot. Um, so, yeah. And they are so observant of things. Like, you can hear stucco barking from the street. I mean, their barks are so loud. They are, and they're very protective, which is just great. But then again, they're great with kids too. I mean, they'll just like lay there and let you play with them. And it, I mean, they're, they're all around, in my opinion, perfect. Forever, best friend. <laughs> but we have a big week coming up. I haven't made the announcement of an amazing opportunity that's been presented to me um, that will also begin on the week of podcasting for pause. Do you want to come up with a little teaser of what it is without saying what it is? No, you're doing a great job. I can't think of a way to tease it without saying it. Um, We're going to not say it just yet. Let's see. You want to be heard? (laughs) You want to be heard? Oh, Lord. Then 
email us, contact us. What does that have to do with, with starting on this week of podcasting for Paws? Okay. Uh, I, I don't understand the correlation between the two. Well, you have had a horse. <laughs> That's not very polite and sweet. Um, I was given an opportunity that I'm so honored and about, and I will be starting that adventure the week of podcasting for Paws. Probably have even more on my buffet plate than <laughs> normal and uh i will bring light of it here very shortly and it will let's put it this way it will be helping even more than we do is that safe to say go hey baby every time we're on he loves to come up here and get really close to the mic and just be seen he thinks everybody is gonna see him and love on him give daddy kisses give him kisses there's my boy. There's my boy. Watch my husband laugh at me when I point out something that I did. See, mommy doesn't have to worry anymore, babe. Look. What's that? Oh, my gosh. So around my desk has some very sharp corners. And when the boys come around, when the boys come around, I'm worried that they will hit their eye or their face on the corner and it would hurt them. So... I may have gotten that's my beer. I may have gotten some heart shaped baby edge corner cover cover uh, protector things so that if they hit the edge of it, it's plastic and it won't hurt their face. And it won't hurt Can their eye. Hey! Oh, this is the first time Let ever. The puppies out. You wanna come here? We're on air. Let them out real quick. Thank you. Love you. Child labor laws are in effect. Really? What? Seriously? Oh, well, at least for my child. Your your child? Yes. Now she's yours. She is when I want some. Now she's Can yours. You let the puppies out real quick. Hey, we're on air. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Oh, Lord. We were talking about how we are recording the two of you going at it, but it's not going to be rated PG 13 because of the language the two of you use. I mean, the language she uses. No, you already admitted and it's recorded that you do it as well. They got to go out. What do you have to say about dear old daddy over here? Yeah, what is it? Who has no plan? I lost his screws while I'm away. Wow. I'm quite the idiot. I have oh, no boy. brain. And I lost my screws along the way. I don't think you lost your screws. <clears throat> you have something in your throat? Yes. <laughs> so is there, is there a topic you want to discuss? We're just kind of giving a quick update, you know, tell everybody about podcasting for pause if they want to be involved in it, how they can do so. They can have 45 minutes on our platform to talk about what they do, who they are, what they're That's up what to. I, said, I want to be heard. You get with us. That's something they do with what I'm starting that yeah. week before that. That was after. Right. That's what I was trying to come up with a teaser for. I just teased them. Not really. Y'all contact us so you can be heard. If we can help y'all. Oh, now I guess I get it. Yeah. See, I'm tired. Cause... I am tired. I'm very tired. I drove all the way around that Oh, city. my God. Are you seriously going to start that again? While you sat on your butt. Let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. It takes me two hours to clean a kitchen now because I'm doing it one-handed. The kitchen's immaculate. I carried laundry down two flights of stairs, one-handed. What normally takes you five minutes now takes me 25 minutes, and I still do it without asking. I can't even tie my shoes one-handed. Well, do you have to specify one-handed because... I'm one-handed. We can see that. We are running an internationally successful corporation with like 40 million followers while you say i'm sitting on my butt doing nothing we just put out our third book i said you were sitting on your butt right but normally you say i just sit on my butt and do nothing all day this is typical are you kidding me you sit on your butt and do nothing but 
work. You don't finish with that. You never said that. You, you never let me. You never say that. Uh uh. What, what is this, Yankee? Get back down south. Because <laughs> you never say that I work. You don't let me finish, woman. That's not true. That is not true. Oh, Lord. Y'all don't read into that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about reading anything. So, your dad and. Oh, yeah. So, reading anything. So, I will be doing a live and I will be reading. Uh, snippets of my daughter's book. How come you don't read snippets of my book? Ah, you won't let me. Oh, that's true. You'll let me read your book? No. Nope. Out loud? No. In public? Public. But yes, I am kitten. Dad's girl. I'm dang proud of it. She's not every single I time. Read some snippets, y'all. She broke my heart writing this book. How'd she break your heart? It's the it's sweetest thing. Okay, that doesn't broke. mean you broke it. That yeah, means you made it swell. It. Swell. Mm -hmm. You are all about the innuendos, aren't you? Well, I will be when we get done with this podcast. Oh, my God. It's over. Good night, y'all. <laughs> Holy crap.